r slash ask reddit if you could put one thing on mars to be discovered what would it be a mars bar wrapper a quran would be a great joke or marx is the capital a skeleton in an apollo era space suit next to sos written in the martian sand a tesla car labeled secret test number four a box of mars bars imagine the confused astronauts viking longship my boyfriend loudly crying face a complete fossil of a triceratops flakes and artifacts from the process of making stone tools graffiti saying kilroy was here a stretch armstrong doll beside a scale model of the space battleship yamato a simple pocket watch the creationists would go insane a stone tablet with the words Adam and Eve were here in Aramaic strawberries dildo 35 millimeters reel of Orson Welles war of the worlds with the message we are watching you hostess fruit pie circa 1992 the entirety of the adeptus mechanic use my full name etched in stone my naked corpse human skeleton old coins not super old like one to two centuries old a perfect statue of Elon Musk in a dramatic self-aggrandizing pose people would never believe his claims that he didn't waste obscene amounts of money sneaking it up there a pack of beef jerky a dildo from bad dragon Donald Trump, hands down. John Cena. Do 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 do. A jar of grey popon. I'd look for a large rock and draw a penis on it. A rock with ancient looking scriptures but it's actually just some nonsense, good luck trying to decode that buddy. I would create a massive ancient city, like the kind Native Americans built long ago. My neighbor's cat. Bear with me here. There's a classic sci-fi story called A Martian Odyssey. First story to try to describe aliens as really alien, not just humans with green skin. One of them is a silicon-based life form, that excretes solid bricks of silicon, forming a little pyramid around itself, then breaks out and moves over a little to start again. You end up with a long line of broken pyramids slowly getting larger until you get to the last one. The author, Stanley Weinbaum, died really young, and it was one of those what could have been moments in the history of sci-fi. Putting a permanent memorial, doubling as a subtle prank, would suit his sense of humor, I think. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you have enjoyed this video and subscribe to never miss an upload.